So what you're going to need for this step is um, your two wing halves, uh, some epoxy, this is the stuff that rcfoam.com has, and a stir stick. Um, so we're just going to glue these halves of the wing together. So what I'm going to do first is flip this over, this is what you need to do, flip this over to the side where the carbon rod is, so that's going to get eventually hidden up, because um, they're, when they're glued together, that side's going to be down, so um, I'm going to take this epoxy and put some some of each um, each kind, the hardener and the epoxy. Um, I'm going to put a little pile of it here, here, and here, and then I'm going to mix it up really, really well with this stick. Now you can mix it in a cup and then pour it there, but I just do it this way, so um, here is how it's done. So this is 5 minute epoxy, so you have to act pretty fast. Um, I just realized that uh, I am not going to really have time to show you this while I'm doing it. So basically I'm just going to put a pile here, probably of both, probably about that big, um, of both of the kinds of epoxy mixed together. Um, and then over here probably be the biggest little pile of it, and then over there. Um, you just need enough that it will cover the whole wing in a thin layer. Um, so I'm going to do that and then stick it all together. So I'll just put the epoxy here, mix it up. Be sure to mix it up really, really, really good, alright? Unless it'll just be sticky and not actually dry hard. And then I'm just going to flip this wing over, this part of the wing over, and stick it to the other section. And then I'm going to put some weights on it just so it dries nice and pressed together. So it's pretty simple to do. You got the point. So I can't really film this part, so... I'm just going to do it. So um, I didn't use too much of the epoxy, probably three-fourths of it or something, but there's a lot of air bubbles in there as you can see, yeah, probably three-fourths of it. But anyways, here's my wing, all epoxy together. Now it is drying and I've got a bunch of weights on it just to keep it really flat and good. So that'll dry nicely. And the epoxy makes the wing halves very strong together so the epoxy almost acts like a carbon rod in there also it keeps everything really stiff so I'll let that dry so as you can see it's all glued together like that um, it's nice and stiff so now what you gotta do is go over here and find any pieces that overlap a little bit like this and go ahead and cut them off so or cut them off so that um, it's all nice and even the walls of the foam there's no like overlap like there is there on the other side of that there is not much overlap so I don't have to do anything there there is some overlap there but that's fine because we're just going to be cutting this down to an angle anyways so I'm going to do that so next what I did was took my hot glue gun here and just put like a bead line of glue all the way um, in this seam right here just to make sure that this didn't peel up or anything but you can see there's some glue on there it's going all the way and that just keeps it real strong and stuff so now we are going to bevel the edges so if you look at this plane you'll notice how um, the leading edge is not just a square um, so we are going to cut this edge to make it like rounded down. So the most important thing um, for this step is you need a very sharp knife. Now um, these are just some like normal utility knives and they're very 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 sharp. So you're just going to come along and this is probably one of the harder steps but just take your time and bevel this edge to make it look like this. You see? So um, I'll do a little bit of that and then show you so as you can see here, um, I beveled that and it's pretty clean. I just did it, I stopped right there so there's my carbon rod but um, I'll do the rest of that now. As you can see here on the leading edge I left about 3 millimeters flat. That's not going to affect the flight too much, it'll just make the leading edge dent less when you hit trees and stuff like right there. Um, so yeah, I'll do the rest of this. Now I just remembered that on the tip you're not going to want to bevel it um, about an inch. So you're going to want to leave about an inch that's not beveled. 
I already made that mistake. I just remembered that I should have not done that because what's going to happen is the motor mount is going to lay across the top like this. So it helps to have more surface area, but I just cut a hole out. So don't bevel it on the tip. What I'll end up doing is I'll just put some popsicle sticks under there. I'm um, just like laying flat, or I can just find that piece that I cut out of there and put it back on. So I'm just going to keep going. So I got that all done, as you can see there. Um, and there. It's all bueno. So that's that. Next step is to coat this leading edge with tape. Now, the best tape to use for this is this Scotch Extreme tape. Um, see that? Or Scotch Tough tape. Now, what makes this special is it's got fiberglass strands in it. Um, so it's extra strong. But you can also just use packing tape. And if you really wanted, you could just leave it bare foam. But as you can see, this. And this is coated with that stuff, and when you hit trees or whatever, it um, makes it so the front edges don't get all banged up. And also when you land, it keeps them from getting all messed up and stuff like that. So basically what I did here is I just put one layer of tape going across, and that wraps around that, the leading edge like that. Um, my lens is dirty, but as you can see, or I'll try and get that to focus. Yeah, it just goes around. It was a little bit up on here, and then I put another piece up higher. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to this wing. So what I did was I put one strip on the leading edge that wrapped under, and then another strip above that. So you can see like that, there's one, there's a lot on the top. And on the bottom, there's just like half of one strip. And then on the nose, I buffed it up. I just put like a strip right here and wrapped it around and here and wrapped it around so that makes the nose extra strong just in case you like crash on it or something so um for beveling the edges they don't need to be perfect like you don't you probably wouldn't want to sand them um because if you think about it when the air hits the leading edge the only thing that the, that the air particles actually see is just a straight line over it so if it's all bumpy this way, that's not really going to affect it too much. Like I've I've done it where I sanded it and made it perfect, and I've done it where it's kind of like this or like this where it's not so perfect, and it doesn't make a noticeable difference at all. So, um, you don't have to like sand that to perfection. Well, you can if you want, but I I'm not. So, that's that.